Hi, in this example we're going to make sense of some uh, Melbourne Metropolitan Network train data. So in order to do that we're going to create a dashboard and uh, on our dashboard we're going to give it a name. Okay, so the first thing we need on our dashboard is a map. So let's plot our data here splatially. We'll have a look at our passenger load and we'll take our KPI and we'll plot this. Right, we want to animate this over time because there's a lot of data that we want to look at. And we'll animate all of this. We'll look at the last 10 pieces and we're going to look at trails and marks in here. In order to do that, we need to bring in the train and we need the corridor name. So we get this nice sort of effect happening in here. Right, that's good. Here's our map. We also want to look at this information spread out over time. So we're going to look at this. We'll look at our passenger load. We're going to look at this. Broken out by time, we'd like to look at this as a bar chart rather than a line chart, so we need to make these nice and skinny and we'll colour these again by our KPI. And uh, now, in order to, to break these down to look at each one of these, we're going to create a combined field and then we're going to break these down so we can see them. And we want to be able to sort this in descending order based on our passenger load so that we get this appearing nicely in here. Again, we want to take this and animate this over time. So we're going to do the same thing again, but this time all, and we're not going to fade them out so that when we animate this, we get this ticking along kind of effect. Terrific. So on our dashboard, we want our map. We want our time. We'll resize these so that they look nicely. We can do things like hide the titles in here. We'll grab this piece, bring it to the top and now we should be able to animate this information over time so here's our peak load for the morning starting to happen you can see as the morning peak starts to occur our trains start to be at peak load um, most of the time they're standing room only happening in here but we can start to see how this is working across time for us the morning is coming to an end and now we'll start to play the afternoon peak here so now we're starting to see people traveling out of the city back towards home you can see the majority of people um, live fairly close in and the trains are getting less and less crowded as they head out towards the uh, the edges so this animation allows us to see an awful lot of information um, captured together uh, and made sense of very easily Three minutes. Thanks.